Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some DA take it away. That story hard work does pay off, David. Thank you so much. And the Bulls start out with the ball. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Vucevic is out there with Johnson. And it's DeRozan in at the three, the small four. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. And becoming more physical over the years. DeRozan converts off contact extremely well. We all know he's a tremendous athlete, G.A., who's added a lot of strength. He adjusts well in the air, and he can finish with either hand. Hard to stop him once he's in the lane. And the pass to Hero. Down low, Adebayo. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. And Levine, here we go. Can't connect from short range. For Miami, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And it's already gone with the jam. Hey, ducks aren't always for the big foul. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now here's DeRozan. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Levine with it. Now defended by Adebayo. Two points. That one goes. I mean, a great decision by Zach Levine. Could have forced one up, but he's trying to keep his teammates involved. Oladipo, the pass to Autobion. Butler against Ball. Autobion with a screen on Ball. Butler, no good. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. To the inside, out to DeRozan, back to Vucevic. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. DeRozan passes to Vucevic, makes it off the glass. Vucevic has got his second basket of the night. Always a battle when you're up against Vucevic. His soft touch helps him convert inside. Oladipo taking his time here. Count that bucket. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Levine against Adebayo. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist by Levine. And that's now six points for Vucevic. For Miami, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And as the regular season winds toward the playoffs break for those teams in the upper half of the standings, how much are they looking at the seating and their possible opponents? Well, I don't think most would admit it, but it's human nature to think ahead, trying to map out that crowd and looking at how it breaks down in the bracket. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Tony Bradley's checked in for Vucevic. Williams comes in for Johnson. And it's Kobe White in for Zach Levine. White with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Ball with the bucket. Lonzo, what strong ball. fundamentals from Lonzo. Not about to waste. They look that good. Cousins with a screen on one. Here's Hero. Boom. He chains it straight down. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true Hang time. You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. And the Heat making a change here. Edmonds checked in. Talk about being reliable at the line. At Kentucky, Tyler Hero, he hit 93% of his free throws his freshman year. Now here's White. Stolen by Jackson. Here's Hero. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Tyler Hero hammering it down. Playing with a lot of confidence. Now here's Ball. He's covered by Hero. Outside, Ball. Bradley sets the pick for White. Shoots from 12. Rebound by the Heat. Their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, they got into a terrific flow offensively, but a lot of that 
was because the defense they were facing was mediocre. Yeah, it seemed like they got every shot they wanted. I'm sure they wish every game could be that way. And they pick up two. Moby White keeping his head up, shows great vision, and delivers a great pass. The Heat have gone six of ten from the field in this ballgame. Now, Hero, not a lot of room. Deadman a screen. Hero with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. And he's good on the three ball. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Bulls trail by three. Outside, ball. And the rejection by Cousins. All over that one, DeMarcus gets himself in position. Time to block beautifully. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Rosen dishes to Williams. And that one, good. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Hero passes to Cousins. Over Bradley. And the shot no good, a bit short. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. It's the Heat ending the first quarter with a 13-4 run. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. Fan, welcome your Miami Heat. How yeah, great when you think about Jimmy Butler. It sure seems like he would. I'm so fortunate to be able to. to... And Butler Greg in his previous stop sometimes at odds with teammates or whoever else, but that was not the case in Miami. Well, he played with Dwayne Wade in Chicago, and Wade, a Heat legend, played matchmaker, telling both sides this is where Jimmy needs to be. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Heat. It looks like they're ready to run today, fellas. They keep getting out on the break whenever they can. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands are doing. Right? Thanks to that, they've got a lot of points off of turnover. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Jackson is out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Gallinari, and it's Struce in at the three. Gallinari wide open, and the Heat, another three. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Ray, well, you're just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. And he's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. So here's Gallinari. After the main shot from Nikola Vucevic. Adebayo with this screen on Jones. Bonari with it. Now defended by Levine. And he gets it to go. adebayo has got the lead up to 7 now for Miami. A dangerous pick and roll partner. Adebayo's a high level athlete with great size. Brown dishes to Vucevic. Second shot opportunity. And that one drops for him. Vucevic. Vucevic has got four points this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Jackson kicks to Adebayo. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And the Heat lead by seven. Proven he has the touch from mid-range. Bam Adebayo showing you another dimension of his game. Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Let's find out the news on Jimmy Butler. Dave, what's the update? Kevin, I caught up with the head athletic trainer from Miami. He told me it's a pinched nerve in his neck, and that has him in a lot of pain. David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Now here's Levine. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the key for Vucevic is remaining aggressive. And when he does that, this guy can dominate. Chicago making some changes. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Jones. And it's Kobe White in for Troy Brown. 
Greg, you played on one of college basketball's all-time super teams. Hard to imagine we'll see that kind of dominance over several seasons like you guys had at UNLV. It's true, and we still see dominant teams, but, you know, the difference is now the, the most talented teams tend to only play together for one season, and, and so that makes it really hard to run together stretches where you can call yourself a legitimate dynasty. But I still love where our game is and look forward to watching these young men chase their dream. There's Oladipo. That one's not going to go. White with the defensive effort. Bulls trail by four. And Levine, here we go. Big time improvement by Zach Levine. Reading the defense in the pick and roll, that was a nice decision. A minute 42 left here in the second. Now a timeout called by Miami. Oh, it's it, it's many, nobody's accused of being, of being a stellar defender. But the young man has improved in that area the last few seasons. Greg, he's always had the physical tools to be a good defender. It's been his awareness that's kind of held him back. But his weak side rotation and his D has gotten a lot better. Here's what Miami's going with right now. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Wayne Dedman comes in for Gallinari. And it's Tyler Hero in for Victor Oladipo. Ball, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. When defending pick and roll, you play ball to pass, but he still makes it work. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Miami. Pass to Butler. Into the lane. Shoots over Vucevic. And it's Butler missing. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. So the Bulls, the last game, a win against Memphis. Pass to Butler. Pass to Dedman. Over in the corner, Cousins. Good ball movement here by Miami. Second chance shot. Outside for Jackson. No good with the triple. For Chicago, they've gotten nearly everything to fall for them here in the second quarter. They're a great seven of eight from the floor. Here's Williams that gives them the lead. Williams. Williams has got eight points. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. Got it off in time. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. We talk about Lonzo's feel for the game. Miami Heat. Thank you, David. And we'll be back. Welcome, everybody. We're halfway through what is turning out to be the Nikola Vucevic show. The man is dominating now, though. That remind you of someone, fellas? I'll wait. Anyway, he's taking high percentage shots. That leads to high point totals. Does that remind you of anybody, fellas? I'll wait. And again, he's in full control of the interior right now. Awesome to watch. Does that remind you of anybody, fellas? I'll wait. Okay, now we've got some time to take a look at the Eastern Conference standings as the postseason comes into view. Well, right now for the Bulls, they're right where they want to be. And they're right. And that'll do it for our halftime show. Let's get you back out to the game. Where's Crafty? Where's my mac and cheese? Right there with you, brother. I need my kale salad, though. Kale salad. Mac and cheese. Veritable twins. I'm opting for the uh, blue cheese lasagna. What is that? And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, Vucevic, guys, has been exceptional. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Taking a look at the Bulls. In the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. Johnson is out there with Vucevic, and it's DeRozan into the three spot. Now, here's Ball. Takes it inside. Oladipo with the block. 
Yeah, you're not going to beat Oladipo with that. I mean, Victor plays hard on both sides of the ball. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Oladipo against Ball. Back to Oladipo. Pass to Hero. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Butler. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. Hanzo Ball picks one up. The physicality of Jimmy Butler poses so many issues for defenders. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. Bradley's checked in for the Bulls. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Odipo against Ball. Here's Butler. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. The shot by Autobio, no good. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way. But it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to come to the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. He had a nice open look right there. Hero's got five points now in the quarter. This is really what separates Tyler Hero as a player. The confidence and touch from deep. And Levine throws it down. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. All right. And Miami making a change here. Struz has checked in. Chicago also making some changes. Jones checked in for Johnson. Troy Brown comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for ball. Now, here's Oladipo. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Here's Oladipo. It's a five-point game. You see the quickness and focus of Levine. Tracks the shot, shuts it down. Jones sets the pick for Levine. Inside. Jones, no luck. Miami's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. Here's Butler. And some very quick points for him on that possession. What a move by Jimmy Butler. Has the defense back on his heels. Pulls up on a dive. Jones, the pass to Brent. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Outside Butler. Oladipo dishes to Butler. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Nice tee from Levine. Caruso kicks to Brown. Bradley is screen on Buck. Bean passes to Bradley. And he finishes with the dunk. And you see the pass. Levine improving as a playmaker, learning how to succeed at this level. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Oladipo dishes to Golinari. Bio the screen. Gallinari passes to Autobio. Out to Gallinari. Takes the three. He can't get that one, so the Bulls will take it the other way. Levine with it. Now defended by Autobio. Here's Caruso. Here's Bradley. Lays it up Coming off the glass. Yes, and it's a nine point Chicago Alex lead. Caruso. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Oladipo. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. It's all in by the Bulls. Bradley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Jones kicks to Brown. Back to Jones. Butler with the steal. To the middle. 
And Adebayo throws it down. And when Oladipo makes passes like that, his team kicks into a whole new gear offensively. It's Brown on the win. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. There's the feed to Bradley. Great D that time from Adebayo. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Gallinari outside. Butler from outside. No good on the last second attempt there. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Bulls lead by seven. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this one? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. Come on, fans. It's the fourth quarter. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. A moment now to reset the lights. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Miami. Out in the wings for them, a hero in Butler. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Dwayne Dedman. And it's Jackson in at the point. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Hero passes to Butler. Back to Hero. Shoots over White. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Bulls leading by nine. DeRozan surveying the D. Vucevic off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Hero. The kick outside to Butler. The pass to Cousins. Shot clock at five. That three off the mark. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Bulls. Bulls moving the ball around. Ball, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams throwing it down. It's no secret that Lonzo is an elite facilitator. If you're open, he will get you the ball. Alinari, he's checked in for Frank Jackson. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. During that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He is not pleased. He told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Count it good. An aggressive score. He hunts for his shot. Tyler knows how to get himself going. Ball finds White. Williams with the ball. Guarded now by DeMarcus Cousins. Here's Vucevic. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead. Passes it to going up. Here's Deadman. Back to Gallinari. And Vucevic pulls it down. Vucevic has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And Tyler Hero gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First team foul. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Vucevic dishes to Williams. Deadman knocks it away. The 7 4 wingspan of Deadman. Hard to get your shot over that. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Williams against Butler. Pass to Hero. Screen by Cousins. Now Hero. He's covered by Ball. Got that one. The Bulls lead has been picked down to 11 as the basket is good from Hero. On the wing, Williams. Rosa. Good. A nice 
assist for Williams. Assist from. DeRozan's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. 153 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Butler. Cousins trying to free himself up. The shot misses. The Bulls have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Why not? You have a score like DeRozan. Keep going to the whale. And here is Hero. Golinari a screen on ball. Hero kicks to Golinari. Back to Hero. Positions aren't as easily defined, Smitty, as they used to be in the NBA. Most players have to play a number of roles now. That's totally true, Kevin. The more versatile you are, the more valuable you are. Teams want guards who can crash the boards and big men who can dish it out. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Bulls. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column Tomorrow on the season. The and they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a two-to-one edge with only one left to play. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Vucevic. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. On the wing, DeRozan. He takes it in, and the dunk by DeRozan. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays, especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Here's Hero. The Bulls getting the bucket. Golinari a screen on Williams. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hero. Spins shot high post, and there's another one for the Heat. That's an easy shot for Hero. Very comfortable facing up from any spot on the floor. From deep, misses the shot. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have any problems with that tonight. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks a lot. Nick, how did you guys get this win tonight? We were really good on defense, and then uh, once we get stops, we're very good on offense. We got some easy ones, and you know, we just kept grinding, you know. We never let it back in the game, and uh, it felt good to get this one tonight. Great performance by you guys, Nick. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Nikola Vucevic.